Hey guys, welcome to Yoga with Coops, uh, the Yoga Masters series, where I'm going to take you through a series of videos to share with you some of the skills we learn in the workshops, but to help you encourage your home practice. So welcome to my home. This is where I practice every day, every evening, and sometimes I find it really challenging myself to bring myself to the mat at home because there's so much going on in your house, like there is in mine, people coming in and out. If you've got children, they're there, they're in every room. So it's really hard to find your space. Once you do find a safe space, a spot that is yours, keep your mat out as long as you can every day or make a conscious note of rolling it out onto the space before you go to bed, ready for in the morning, so you know you're ready to go. You're ready to get your yoga fix. And just whatever distractions are going on, just find your, your moment, stop on the mat, take a few breaths, have a chat with whoever it is that's, that's there in your, your room. If, if you've got that sacred space where there's no one around, then that's amazing. But nine times out of 10, we live in a house where it's busy. And so finding your right time for you, maybe there's a time when people aren't in the house. So use that time and make it your routine, make it part of your life. Because yoga for me is not an exercise, it's part of my life, it's part of my calmness and part of my energy zone and also part of my physical practice. I really notice if I don't come on the mat, I start to feel a little bit edgy. So we're gonna start with a short yoga flow for the morning to get you up, to get the spine stretched out and to get you moving. So let's start laying on our backs. And just start to soften down into the mat. Spread the legs nice and wide. Open up the arms. So open the armpits, spread the fingertips. And take a nice big breath in. Notice the lungs are starting to fill. And on the exhale, soften down. Close off the eyes. Inhaling through the nose. And softening out, exhaling, making this exhale really count. And slowly start to bring the right knee in towards the chest. Stretch the toes up to face the ceiling. Then bring that upper arm over, grabbing hold of that knee. Take a nice big breath in here. Soften the shoulders, exhaling. And stretching that left leg up, swapping over. Right leg slides down, bends into that left knee. Now really start to take that breath, lift the lungs, and soften the body, exhale. Toes facing the ceiling. That's really going to activate those calves and wake them up. Then bring both knees in and start to wiggle in to this spine. The spine's a really important part to wake up in the morning. It's like a sponge. When it's dry, it's really immobile, it's really brittle. So the more you use your spinal cord and you lengthen it through, through the asana, the practice of yoga, the more it's going to be able to give you movement and send that energy up to the brain. So wiggle it into that lower spine. Take some nice breaths here. And start to open up the arms nice and wide. And take the knees over towards the left, stretch them out, gaze in the opposite direction and let the knees just lift just above the mat. And so you're starting to feel that more in your external obliques all along here and your back, your spine's being stretched. Imagine that sp sponge is being wrung out. Then nice big breath in, all the way up and then exhale them over towards the other side, gaze in the opposite direction. Warming them up and then back over to the centre and exhale them down. I'm just doing this for a few moments in the morning can make the difference to your spine feeling stretched and feeling nice and long and, and tall. So you feeling that gravity where the shoulders start to slump over. So really just enjoy waking the body up like this with a few breaths. Great, and then stretch the legs up into the air. Toes pointing towards your nose, and bring the hands down by the sit bones, ankles together, firing up that belly. Wiggle those shoulders down towards the mat. Squeeze into your, your quads, so make them nice and strong. Then slowly lower down, exhaling. 
Let the ankles hover above the mat. Feel that in the core. And then exhaling, shooting back up. One more, lowering down. Feel it in the core, then slowly rise up. Great, bring the knees in. Awesome. Bend into those knees. Just opening up those hips. So even in those few minutes, we've started to work into the spine and we're opening up the hips and we've also fired the core. We're gonna rock onto our back of the spine and find some lift until we come over onto all fours. Spreading those fingertips wide Okay, and rolling the shoulders back and feeling that length in the arms, okay? With your feet, push the, the feet into the mat, the fronts of the feet. Take a nice big breath in through the nose and then exhale out through the nose. Start to breathe this belly button in towards the spine. So it goes from feeling quite slunched to finding length in the arms, breathe the core in so you activate it. Good, that's waking it up for the morning. And then start to lift those sit bones up. Keep the arms nice and strong. Take the gaze up. Big breath in. And then exhale, arch into the spine. Inhaling, dipping the tummy down, lifting the sit bones. Roll the shoulders back. Gaze up. Inhale. And exhale, shooting up. And going through this a few times. Just waking up that spine. And maybe adding some hip movements in here, making it nice and flow, and it's your practice. That's the great thing about home flow. You can make it what you want. So if you feel like taking a stretch and holding it for a few breaths, and then bringing it back to your cat-cow, then you go for it, because that's what your body needs. Great, wiggling in. Then we're going to start to extend the right leg out. So take the toes down, so they point down, and then breathe that core in, squeeze your right glute in, glute in and hold it there. Take a nice big breath in, and then exhale, bend into the elbows, lower down. One more big breath in, lengthen in the chest, lengthen the spine, and exhale, float it down. Great, walk that right knee back in, and then wiggle into those hips. And then ready to come back onto all fours. Breathe the belly button in towards the spine and then extend that left leg out. Really find length in the arms, push the shoulders up. Great, squeeze into that left glute, roll the shoulders back and then exhale, lowering down. This is building arm strength, waking those arms up. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale, lowering down, bring the knee in. Wiggle into those hips. And spread those knees nice and wide. And roll those hips back. Let's take child's pose. It's the morning, so allow the heart to rest whichever way your head wants to rock. If it wants to melt down to one side or forehead down. Or bring the hands to the nape of the neck. Or towards the lower back. walking up those hips, bringing the knees back in, hip width apart, and then we're just going to wiggle into those hips, and we're going to come onto our tippy toes, hands under the shoulders, spread those fingertips wide, lift those hips up into your down dog. That's the first down dog of the morning, your legs are going to be tight, so bend into those knees, okay, bend in, wake up the hamstrings, wake up the calves, wake up the quads, keep it nice and easy. Good, and then start to stretch one leg up. Give it a little ankle circle here, and then place it down. Left leg stretching up, wiggle in to the ankle, and then placing it down. Bend into those knees, open up those ribs, okay? Getting the whole body moving, but taking your time, and slowly walking those feet towards the top of the mat. Bend into those knees, heart towards the thighs, that's it. Great. And then slowly rising up. Open up the heart. Nice big breath in here. 
Open the mouth, exhale. Ready to start your day. And so giving that a go at home, spending five to seven minutes on finding your flow at home, whether you take one of those poses or whether you try all of them, it's a great way to bring heat to the body. It's a great way to stretch out all of the joints, lengthen the spine and get you started to your most positive day. So you can be the master of your home practice and take that into your lives. Thank you so much guys for watching. I love your feedback. So please, if you've got any feedback after this clip, please feel free to send it to me. Namaste.